Jasper the Cat is a Ginger Tom. He lost his left hind leg in a car accident and has since become the official library cat. I first met Jasper on the Cats Protection website when I was looking for a cat to adopt. And then when I actually first met him that time at Littleport, uh, I realised that Jasper was something special, not just because he had three legs, but because he was a um, mild-mannered, nice sort of cat. When they first let him out of his carrier, um, there were three kittens in the next stall next to Jasper. And as he came out, they were putting their paws through the grill and he patted each paw as he went by. I thought, yeah, this is quite a nice cat. We originally had Jasper in for a photo shoot to provide publicity photographs for the library. During an induction at the start of the academic year, we just mentioned in passing that Jasper sometimes came into the library. And then for the rest of the academic year, we had students asking us, when's Jasper coming in next? So we thought, well, maybe we should have Jasper coming in when the students are here. And we had the first event, and that's the one that really went viral in terms of news throughout the world. It was extremely popular. There was a black market in Jasper tickets. I mean, tickets were exchanging for like, you know, 10, 15 pounds to come to the Jasper event. I and mean, that was before all the publicity. So we realised that we hit on something that was quite successful. And other libraries were quite jealous that we had Jasper. Librarians Simon Frost and Claire Trowell are organising Jasper's visit to help students de-stress by interacting with him. They have been taking him to Marshall Library, University of Cambridge, since 2016. Although he's only got, you know, three legs, he um, tends to forget that and he does do what all other cats do, which is climb trees. So when I moved into my house two years ago, I found that it was quite a good way to know your neighbours by virtue of the fact that I've had to go up onto their garage roofs or up their trees to try and retrieve Jasper. Because although he's actually very mobile, he can climb trees, it seems he can't get down very easily. Jasper, he will approach just about anybody. Um, without hesitation, basically, as I'm sure you'll see when you see him interacting with the students. It's probably a kind of positive circle because they're so pleased to see him and he loves it. And the more he loves them loving him, the more love there is to go around, I guess. Well, that's true. <laughs> He's just sort of got a very positive idea about being petted. I mean, the one funny thing that has occurred is that quite often we get students who um, allergic to cats and yet they still come to the Jasper event and one girl last time I mean there were tears streaming down her face and she was sneezing etc but she still wanted to stay in with Jasper um, which is yes, quite I'm, remarkable. I'm not so keen on this. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> we do clean the library thoroughly before and after this visit so that we don't have any lingering ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry about that Jasper. Nearly there, Jasper. Come on. Jasper has been a fixture of the Marshall Library since 2016, and this is his second annual Christmas visit. Around 60 students have come to see Jasper. The event has sold out. <laughs> We always bring him in about an hour or so prior to the actual event, to just just so he can get you know, used to the surrounding. We've got the Marshall dinner tonight. It's a very exciting day. We've got Jasper and the Marshall dinner. And I think that it's just the biggest event of the economics faculty this year. The Marshall dinner and the cat can't get any better. I definitely think that the, the cat is more important at relieving stress than the whole Prosecco reception at the Hilton. Yeah, it's... the Prosecco is more of, more of helping me sleep thing. So with the actual stress relief, I think the cat is, is there. <laughs> Jasper the economics cat, it's not any old cat, it is Jasper. Yeah, he understands the struggle, you know, he's met many econ students before us. He knows what we're going through, <laughs> we effectively sympathetic. Well, I feel like the event was a good way to like socialise with mm -hmm. other econs, which is nice. We met a second year econ who just switched from a different subject. So I think it's quite nice for her to have met people as well, because she doesn't know many people. In I think it's a, yeah, a good point that to kind of social with different economists, especially those uh, undergraduates. Because for us, normally we can't really get in touch with undergrads, which is uh, quite an interesting one. Did I actually know what I did? Oh, that's nice. Oh, cute. But change it to my Facebook profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed my name actually. I'll be Polly Jasper. Yeah. That's cute. 
Do you know what you would do after graduation? This is probably the scary question you should not always ask, I guess. Most likely I'll yeah. stay here, yes. And that means when you do Economic research, I'll yeah. be teaching you macro. So do you know what you're doing after graduation? Or are you... um, yeah, I I think I've relaxed by meeting Jasper, yeah. yeah. So I'm not really used to cats actually, so I used to be a cat lover, but <clears throat> no longer when I get to uni, so... Uh, but yeah, it's a kind of good relaxation, I'll have to say, yeah. We have a cat at college, and I love the cat. She just kind of chills and walks around and goes where she likes. Uh, in my college, we don't have a college cat, unfortunately, but I think after this experience, I would suggest my college to to have a college hat. It's definitely, I think, something that's been helpful for the entire student community, yeah. Jasper's visit is coming to an end and Simon and Claire are getting ready to take him back home. The progress that we get with the event um, is that we get to talk to students and we get quite a lot of feedback about things in general, quite often about how we can improve the library service, that type of thing, which normally we wouldn't really get from them. But when you actually have a cat or any sort of animal that you can make a fuss of while you're sort of talking to them, it breaks down barriers and you get lots more communication. Whereas I think Jasper's never been mistreated, although he's lost a leg, nobody's ever been cruel to him in that way. And as a result, he's like the innocent abroad, as it were. He's not aware of what might happen, so he's not worried. The reason for doing the event was to try to give them time to uh, relax and to chill out, because obviously terms at Cambridge are quite short, they're quite intensive. And the feedback that we get about the event is that it does help them to relax and wind down. Try and keep it low pressured and small scale, I think, is the best thing to do. And that's the way it works best. So we're not really planning to expand it at all, um, but just keep it relaxed and low key. As a result of one of the last Jasper events, we got lots of publicity and Mars Confectionery sent a year's supply of Dreamies. <laughs> so he has put on quite a bit of weight, I have to admit. But other than that, he's coping with stardom pretty well, I think. He's a very chilled cat. Prince Jasper. <laughs> Prince Jasper. Prince Jasper. Prince Jasper, yeah.